Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Flood, your Balloon Twister, and this time I want to teach you how to make a scorpion. Now I know this looks really fancy and intricate, but it only uses four balloons, and it's actually pretty easy to make. Let me show you how. For this design, you'll need four balloons, two red 260s, and two red 160s. The red 160s are for the legs, and they're sort of optional, but I highly recommend them. Let's start with our red 260s, inflate them both halfway. Let's them out, and tie. Remember to give them a squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna start with the claw of our scorpion. We're gonna make a one inch bubble, like that. We're gonna take the balloon, we're gonna fold it over, and right where that knot meets the rest of the balloon, we're gonna twist the section right there. That's about three inches. We're gonna take the knot, we're gonna push it through the seam, and out the other side. I like to do it twice just to make sure it's not gonna come undone. And there we have our claw. How cool is that looking? Now that we have our claw made, we're gonna give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch to keep it soft on us. We're gonna twist a small one inch bubble, followed by another small half inch bubble. And we're gonna pinch twist this bubble by folding it over, pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. And there's one of our arms. We wanna do the same thing with our other balloon. So now I have my two arms. I'm gonna twist them together and make the head at the same time. This can be a little tricky. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Hold on to both of them, but start with one. Twist another one inch bubble. And you wanna hold on to this one. So I put it between my fingers like this. Then I do the same thing on the other side. Make another one inch bubble. And now I wanna twist a soft three inch bubble. And I wanna twist this seam here into this seam here without letting that seam go. See, it can be a little tricky, but I believe in you, you can do this. Now that that arm's twisted in there, I still wanna hold on to this one. I wanna choose which one of these two I'm gonna use. So I like to choose whichever one is longer. In this case, that's this one. I'm gonna give it another squeeze and a stretch, and I wanna twist another three inch section. So these two here should be about the same length. If it's not perfect, like this one's a little smaller, it's okay. Take this seam here and twist it into this seam here. And you should have something that looks like this. You have the two arms on the front and then we pull them apart so you can see the middle part there. That's what it should look like. We're gonna use a flat weave for the rest of the body. We already have one row of our flat weave here for the head but we need three more rows. Twist a section that's small, like half an inch. And then you wanna twist a section that's about three inches long. Hold on to that. And over here, twist a section that's half an inch. So now I have that half inch bubble. So once again, half inch bubble, three inch bubble, half inch bubble over there. And I'm gonna twist this seam here into this seam up here. And you can see that starts the next row. But I need the other piece on the other side. And now both of the balloons are on that side and I want one on the other side. So I'm gonna take once again, whichever one is longer, still, give it a squeeze and a stretch so it doesn't pop on me. Twist another three inch section. And now I wanna twist this seam here into this seam up there, which can be a little tricky. So what I like to do is I'll hold it against it and then I'll rotate them like this. and that should lock it into place. That can be really tricky, but trust me, that's a skill that will pay for itself in dividends. So now we have two rows of our body, but we need two more. And each row is just like the last one, except now we wanna start making them gradually smaller. We're gonna twist a half inch section, hold on to it, twist another half inch section. Now I'm gonna do a two inch section, take that seam, twist it into this seam, twist another two inch section, and then twist this seam into this seam. Just like that. Only one more row to go. Half inch bubble, half inch bubble, two inch section, twist it into this seam, 
And you'll notice I keep using the same balloon here so that the air keeps getting closer and closer. And I'm not really using this one very much because I want to leave plenty of slack on the end of that one. So I'm gonna twist another two inch section over here and twist it back into that seam. Make sure it's nice and straight. And now we have the four sections for our body. Next is to make the point where the tail connects. We're gonna make a section on this balloon, two inches long, hold on to it so it doesn't come undone on us. Twist another section, two inches long. Now we're gonna twist these two seams together. And with the part that's left over, this should still be a little soft, but pretty much full all the way to the end. We're gonna twist a small one inch bubble. We're gonna fold it over and we're gonna pinch twist that by pinching it, pulling it and twisting it. The rest of this one we don't need, so we can twist a little bubble there on the end. And just like snapping your fingers, you can pop it off, lift the air out slowly, and tie it in a knot. So it won't come unraveled on us later. I then take that knot and I tuck it in there so I don't see it anymore. There we go. And then this is the body of our scorpion so far. The rest of this balloon here is going to be our tail. Give the balloon a squeeze until the air gets almost to the end and just give it a stretch so it's nice and straight. Twist off a small bubble right on the end. And then on this side of the balloon, twist another one inch bubble. Fold that over and pinch twist that one inch bubble. Here is our tail of our scorpion. Except scorpion tails don't stick straight up, so now we gotta curve it by bending it over like this and giving it a gentle massage while trying to shape it. Don't worry, it won't pop on you. And now we have our scorpion tail, which is definitely the most recognizable part of a scorpion. Next, we're gonna adjust the arms. For the pinch twist of each one of these arms, I like to tighten it and pull it down like that. This gives me more control over the shape of the arm. And now you can see that the claws are pointing forward. Now, if you only want to use 260s and no 160s, this is a great spot to stop at. You've used two 260s to make the body and the tail, and it looks like a scorpion. But I like legs, and they need to be thin, so I'm going to be using a 160 for the legs. So if you want to make legs with me, get your red 160 out and inflate it halfway. Put a little layer out, and it's tied. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. Out of each red 160, we're going to try to get four legs, or two sets of two legs. The way we make a set of legs is we're going to go up three inches and twist a seam there, then twist a half inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it, and then we're going to pinch twist another bubble. Another half inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it. I normally don't put two pinch twists in the same spot, but I need a really sharp angle here, and that's the only way I know of getting it. Next, I'm going to twist a small one inch bubble and then another small half inch bubble. And then I'm gonna fold that over, I'm gonna pinch twist that. And now I have one leg. Now I wanna do the same thing in reverse to make the rest of the second leg. So a one inch bubble, a small half inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it, make another small half inch bubble, fold it over, pinch twist it, And then another three inch section. So there are my two sets of legs. Now I'm gonna break it off, but leaving myself a little bit of slack. I don't wanna let the air out of this one, so I'm gonna hold on to it in my mouth while I tie this one. And then I'm gonna tie this one because I wanna use it again for the other set of legs. There's my set of legs. Now to make the second set out of this one. Once again, three inches, half inch, another half inch. Pinch twist those two together. One inch, half inch, another one inch, another half inch, another half inch. And I didn't quite leave myself enough room there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a little tiny hole there in the end and I'm gonna inflate it some more. And I only want it inflated about three inches. So out of one red 160, I was able to get two sets of legs 
four legs total. And now we do it again with the other red 160. So now I have all four sets of my legs and they sort of look like little lens for Michael. Now it's time to connect our legs onto our body. If you look closely right here where my fingers are, this is where we're gonna connect one set of legs on each side. And then down here, we're gonna connect them back here at this point. The way we connect them is you're gonna take the little pinch twist here in the middle of the set of legs. We're gonna feed it through very carefully one of the points. You just wanna slip that pinch twist through and then slip it down. If you made the balloon soft when you started, this should be really easy. Now we adjust the legs. First, we adjust the pinch twist on the bottom. You want that pinch twist to go vertically. And it should be loose. It shouldn't be in there too tight. Now we adjust the legs so they point down. And there we go, we have two legs on our scorpion. Now we just need to attach the next set over here for this side of the body. Once again, I'm gonna push it through the top on the inside of the body. I'm gonna pull the pinch twist down. I'm gonna put it into its position. And then I'm gonna adjust the legs. And there you can see all four legs on that side of the body. How cool does that look? See, it looks really creepy crawly already. So he needs legs on this side of the body too. So now you can see I have all eight legs. The legs are a little bit of extra work, but I definitely think they're worth it. It looks much more creepy now that it has creepy crawly legs. And we're done with our balloon scorpion. The only thing left to do if you want is to draw a face on it. I'm a fan of cute faces, so I'm gonna use a white paint marker and give it a cute face. I'm gonna start by doing two large round white eyes. Then once that white ink is dry, I'm gonna use a black marker to do a little black circle on the bottom inside of each eye. Then I'm gonna trace the top side of the eye, and then to frame the eye, I'm gonna make a little line on the bottom. And if you wanna make him look evil, go ahead and give him slanty eyebrows. That way he looks like he's up to no good. And then give him a nice little smile. Oh boy, does this scorpion look mischievous. And then with my white paint marker, I'm gonna put a little bit of a gleam in the top right corner to make him look cute, but mischievous. There he is. Well, that's it for this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you back here next Monday. And if you need something to do until next Monday, check out the description. There's a link to the playlist where I have over 120 balloon animal lessons. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even a scorpion.